Well, how do there, chums? It is I, Captain of Vestige, and today, chums, for you guys in the Viewerverse, I've got a bit of a No Man's Sky video for you, but this is a sort of mock-up, a concept of what somebody would like to see inside of No Man's Sky. So let me just jump on over and I'll show you what I'm on about, people. So I was hit on up over on the old Twitter space. Somebody sent me a DM, Rude Milk. Yes, and he was asking me where I got the PSD from. So I shared with him the location of where I got the PSD from, and he's made a mock-up of themselves but sadly that was quite low res so i asked if they could post it on twitter and then um you know share it with me and they did so there we are over on twitter they go by the name of sam rx7 so there we go so if i pop on over to their mock-up boom they've called it no man's sky odyssey version 5 even though it says version 3 up there but ignore that anyway scrolling down odyssey update 5.0 odyssey introduces a new racing type of gameplay story and missions explore brand new worlds with your friends in multi-crew ships and take on new missions explore huge new proc gen cities with general uh, gameplay features storylines quests and mission types equip yourself with her multi sort and flamethrowers and venture into the world of glass. Awesome! <laughs> There's quite a fair few things that I like, even in that opening paragraph. Intergalactic Racing League. Oh, <laughs> take my money. Yeah, oh, this looks freaking great, doesn't it? Anyway, this update brings a whole new storyline introducing the Intergalactic Racing League and accompanying Nexus missions, anomalous encounters and random events, as well as new loot items and tech. Oh, that looks pretty darn sna snazzy, doesn't it? I'll put my Winamps up there so it doesn't cover the screen as much. You know what? Shall I take myself off the screen as well? Actually, no, no I'm okay there, I think. I'll just scroll on down a little like that. Okay. Upgrade and expand your vehicle collection with a wide range of new vehicles to compete in and traverse the galaxy with. You know what? I'll put a link to all of this inside the video description so you can hit this up yourself if I do obscure your view. Yo, and I love the cockpit on this. That looks really cool. Okay, right. So here we go. Compete in races on land or in space. Compete for top prizes, challenges, friends and rivals, and meet brand new Gek Rebel Biker character who will help guide you. I'm loving these sort of um, bits of artwork here. Now I think he used Mid Journey and also Photoshop to bring these into realisation. But look at that, isn't that freaking great? New tech allows for vehicles to reach speeds not seen before, making traversal much more fun. So yeah, I know that there's an update due fairly soon for No Man's Sky. This isn't it, people. This is a mock-up. Mock-up made in mid-journey and Photoshop. I mean, these look quite convincing, don't they? So I just thought I'd better just doubly state the obvious. that This is a mock-up, a concept. Customise the appearance of your vehicle's interior and exterior to greater extent with new blueprints that can be found as you explore. It'd be cool to get them as race perks as well and win in races, wouldn't it? And all that sort of stuff. Explore entirely new worlds. Billions of new stars have been explored, exploded, resulting into new worlds appearing throughout the universe. Explore entirely new dramatic terrain, crazy structures, complex cave systems and many new biomes. Planets have also been updated with deeper oceans, deeper bedrock and new flora and fauna. Oh, that would be freaking ace. Yeah, I mean, I like the racing element, but this is more my thing for exploration. Yes, yeah, so the racing would be sort of like a little bonus that I might partake in every now and again. In fact, I really wish I would just fix the blinking race initiators that we have in game right now. That'd be cool. Planets per system have been increased to 16 per system. Okay. 300 max ocean depth has now been up to 20,000 much deeper oceans. Limited proc gen, unlimited proc gen. Okay, now I can imagine this would be a next gen thing. <laughs> but, but, you know, I could be wrong. You know, they've worked miracles into the game before. A giant science laboratory sits in the middle of the forest, sandwiched by giant rock formations at each side. Biomes can mix 
and mountains can reach a miles into the sky so mixed biomes so maybe you could get frost caps at the top and lush in the middle that'd be quite cool radioactive zones things like that i do like that structure that does look quite convincingly no man's sky to be honest ai is getting freaking good isn't it landscapes can be much less uniform now with new procedural generation allowing widely varying landscapes and scenery all right to explore with new flora fauna and loot that looks freaking wondrous doesn't it beautiful okay scrolling down a bit further Holy fudge. An, Im an imposing castle formation sits atop a, a rocky cliffside. New items and loot can be found underground. That's, that's an awesome terrain, isn't it? That one. Draw distance has been hugely improved, allowing for dramatic scenery to be viewed from for miles. That is pretty darn freaking epic. A lot of these images are freaking epic, people. Okay. Ah, oh, this is cool. This is cool. A pilot and their co-pilot are landing on a giant new type of Sentinel freighter. Take the Sentinel drones and the boss for new loot. Sentinel bosses would be freaking cool. I mean, I know we've got the walkers. I know we've got the giant spider crabs. But at the same time, they, they just don't... I don't sort of warrant the sort of... I don't feel threatened by them overly now that I'm fully upgraded. New procedural generation and shade attack allows for colourful structures like this rainbow arch. Mm, okay. Um, fine, if that's what you want to do. Go, cool. and we got this over here. An existing alien biome with new types of scenery just waiting to be explored. Beautiful. That does look like... That's, that's so cool. Existing worlds biomes have also been updated and expanded on with new shaders, shade, shaders and proc gen. That water ripple looks freaking lovely, doesn't it? And this building nestled over there. Very cool. It looks so convincingly No Man's Sky. Mid Journey is freaking awesome. Explore with friends. Ships now allow for installation of a co-pilot gunner seat for a friend. And they can cop in your sh uh, co hop in your ship and blast enemies. Pretty cool. Larger ships allow for additional two passengers aboard as well as a co-pilot gunner. Transport your friends around the galaxy. Be a nuisance to them or take them on new passenger missions where you must take on the roles of intergalactic taxi driver and other types of transport missions. I like, I like anything that adds more depth to missions and also... Uh, brings in new ga uh, multiplayer gameplay elements i'm all for go deeper than ever new plants allow deeper e planetary exploration with scary monsters of the deep and epic treasures for those brave enough to explore the depths yeah if there was some giant underwater fauna that'd be freaking awesome find new tech allow you to stand on the bottom of the seabed adopt fish companions deeper oceans and more life If you want to stand on the bottom of the seabed and walk around on the seabed, jump inside your exomech and jump inside of the ocean. It sinks, and you can walk on the seabed, just as you can on the planet, and traverse fairly quickly as well inside of your exomech. I don't know whether people actually realise that. Maybe I should do a video on that. Cool. New planets allow for deeper planetary exploration with scary monsters of the deep and epic treasure found in huge, explorable underwater temples and ruins. Love it. I like... Uh, underwater does need another sort of overhaul. In fact, you know, if they are to change the race system up, I mean, they've been doing overhauls and everything. They've done the overhaul of the freighters, haven't they? And base, um, base building had a, a, a lot of love as well. It'd be nice if they did that with the race initiators, made it a little bit more cool, and maybe even added space racing in there. They did put space race initiators inside the game files years ago, and it never came to fruition. But yeah, deeper oceans, maybe the abyss too, you know? Add in some of this loveliness. I mean, it looks freaking great. Okay, I mean, there's only like a couple of underwater biomes. It'd be nice to have more variants to them, wouldn't it? Big city life. The galaxy is more alive than ever, with huge cities now inhabiting some of the planets. Interact with citizens and learn of new words and lore. Do business with traders, pirates, shady characters, and more. Take on quest runs, errands, embark on new storylines, and stay out of trouble with the lore. I think this is something that's quite lacking inside of No Man's Skies. You pick up your missions inside the stations, you pick up your missions occasionally down in some of the buildings, but it would be nice to see a little bit more hustle and bustle and a lot more sort of side quests that feel meaningful. A player stepping into a huge city for the first time, shops and buildings can be explored freely, people live and work in the cities and be exploring, some offer quests or loot. Pretty darn sweet. Cities have their own transport system, and only small personal vehicles are allowed for safety, still attacking citizens, causing havoc, and can attract sentinel law enforcement. Fine. 
There are different types of cities with varying levels of populace. Yeah, pretty darn cool. I'm liking all of this so far. Whether it could be done on last gen and Nintendo Switch, or that can't even render in a settlement, I would say this will probably be a next gen sort of thing, wouldn't it? Cities can range in size and can be absolutely massive in size. Giant security and trade vessels surround a number of cities spread out. That does look pretty darn freaking epic. I'm not going to lie, it does look cool. Discover new laws surrounding these cities and take exciting trade ventures before calling in a night and relaxing at a hotel or apartment. Cool. Yeah, the cities are home to various species and offer new mission types as well as a place to hang out. Does look cool. Does look cool. Space improvements. So yeah, it looks like you can do space walks. Anyway, players can now build a base in space. Added landing on asteroids, new encounters and objects. Players can now spacewalk after installing the spacewalk suit system in their starship. I really liked that about Starborn or Spaceborn or whatever it is. That of game I was playing on PC where you can just eject out of your ship whenever you want. It's awesome. A group of ex explorers party it on up and uh, on a lone asteroid. Okay, fine. Be careful you're not picked off by pirates and thieves. Cool. Exit your ship and flee to outer space. Love that. Build a giant bases on an asteroid or anywhere in space. Take dramatic shots, diving off of space stations into new outposts. Build giant space colonies and defend it from pirate raids. Pretty cool. New combat, the realm of glass. Okay, this is this is my favourite part of this is my favourite part now, people. Void, mother effing multi swords are here. Heck yes, they are mother fudging. Look at that. Heck yes, that's pretty darn cool. Challenge your friends to epic space duels with the new multi-sword attachments. Imagine that in VR. That'd be freaking cool. Cool. Embark on a brand new quest line through the realm of glass with new enemies, new weapons, and new loot. Pretty darn epic. Oh, look at that. That does look sweet as, doesn't it? It really does. Cool. And look, you still got the multi-tool, and then you can just swap it into a multi-sword, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, take on new universe with a whole new play style. Ah, oh, I wish there was fauna like that inside of No Man's Sky. It so lacks mega fauna like this. It really does. Fight new boss creatures and enemies with new upgradable, customizable multi swords attachments. Freaking bring it on. Heck yes, I would love that. That'd be freaking awesome. Anyway, people, so this was just a mock up. As I said before, so there we go. Freaking awesome work. And let's just pick up the name of that chappy again. So Sam RX over on Reddit. Oh, it was. um. Rude Milk over on um, the old Twitter space. Anyway, people, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you liked that. So that was a cup of tea with Captain Steve. And that was just a mock-up. A mock-up, a concept, a bit of art, a little bit of sort of like, you know, creative thinking. I thoroughly like a lot of the ideas in there. And I feel that with a little bit of work and a little bit of depth added into certain areas into No Man's Sky, why the fudge not? I like it. Very nice bit of creative thinking there. Anyway, until next time, people. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.